All right, here's the deal. Following our latest tech update, catch one of the most insightful calls from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show. In 1994, automakers first began equipping all cars and trucks with the so-called black box. We were told that it would collect only accident and engine performance data. But after 30 years, today, it's a whole different story. I'm Kim Commando, brought to you by T-Mobile. Their advanced network now goes farther than ever before. Visit T-Mobile.com 55 today. It was only a matter of time before car manufacturers realized the information stored by your car's black box is valuable. Instead of recording only accident and performance data, today's cars are equipped with EDRs, event data recorders, and EDRs keep track of everything. It knows when you're speeding, hard braking, and rapidly accelerating. It automatically and wirelessly reports everything to data brokers like LexisNexis. This data is turned into your driving risk score that is sold to your insurance company who might use it to raise your rate. Is this an invasion of your privacy? Of course, but it's not illegal. Sign up for my free newsletter at getkim.com. As promised, I'm now bringing you a standout call from my weekend show. Uh, Michael in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hello there, Michael. Hi, Kim. Thanks for taking my call. You betcha. What's going on? Well, I had a question about um, identity theft protection. I am currently a customer of LifeLock and have been for about six years. Sure. Uh, but they ch- they changed ownership, as I'm sure you're aware of. And um, my customer experience, I would say, is not satisfactory. So I was wondering if you could recommend an al- alternative Well, you know, there are different identity theft services out there. And, of course, LifeLock, now owned by Norton, is is probably still the biggest one that's that's available. Uh, You know, if you don't want to pay for this, there are things that you can do before we talk about options. Uh, You can freeze your credit, and you have to do that on the three credit bureaus. And we've got steps on how to do that over on the website. But if you are truly concerned about your identity and if you, you know, don't want to play with the big boys anymore, the the LifeLocks of the world... Uh, there, there's a company called Identity Guard. Uh, you, they do basically the same thing, monitoring alerts, identity theft. They do credit monitoring. Uh, they have fraud resolution. And uh, they used to be a sponsor of the show, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And they're still out there and, and full force. So if you're looking for an option for identity theft, just you know, take a look at Identity Guard. There's also Identity Force, by the way. Identity Guard, Identity Force. And then consider uh, freezing your credit. And again, we've got the steps on how to do that. What that means is that nobody's able to get any type of credit information about you because your credit report is frozen. And when you do get a request, you have to unfreeze it. Or if you know you're going to apply for a mortgage or a credit card or whatever, is that you go ahead and you open your credit card up for your credit report, rather, for a particular time, say 24, 48 hours. And then you lock that sucker back down. Hey, Michael, thank you so much for your call today. A standing ovation to you for tuning in. Yay! Now, if you're puzzled by a tech issue, here's your call to action. Head to commando.com, select email Kim. I read each and every note like it's the final round in a tech trivia game. And you can amp up your tech know-how by getting my free daily newsletter. It's just waiting for you over at getkim.com.